Thanks very much. Welcome to this holiday edition of FY Islanders. Steve Mears with Chris King and Billy Jaffe. Guys, let's get this thing started off with an all-star question. Who should represent the Islanders at the all-star game? Well, in my mind, Steve, it's got to be Mark Streit. He's done a terrific job for the Islanders on the back line, both offensively and defensively. He leads all NHL defensemen in power play points. Boy, what he's done for the Islander power play. But I think the big surprise is what he's done defensively, and he's also done a great job on the penalty kill. So, again, he works in every situation. To me, he's the best all-around New York Islander. And how sweet would it be for Mark Streit to go back to Montreal to play in the All-Star game? Remember a year ago, Canadians, number one power play in the league. You take Mark Streit away from that, they've been 28th in the league of late. I don't think they appreciated what he meant to their power play. And I don't think they appreciated what he had defensively because often they dressed him as a fourth-line forward. So for me, Mark Streit's the guy, and it would be a very sweet return to Montreal for him. It would, it would be great for him to go back to Montreal, and I hope he does make it. Also, to give it to Guy Carboneau yeah. a bit because Carbo still doesn't think that he made that big of a difference on the power play. I'm going to go with Doug Waite, though. He's a point-of-game player as of right now. I mean, here's a guy who trained extra hard over the summer, did it a little bit differently. He said, you know, he wanted to relax a little bit more, you know, in, in, the, in the method that he took. And mentally as well, I think he's relaxed, guys. He has come out. He's been fantastic. A point-of-game player, it will be hard to deny him a spot on the Eastern Conference All-Star team. He has gotten a lot of points on the power play, along with Mark Streit. But on the other hand as well, Doug Wade has done some pretty good things at even strength as well. And so I would say, you know what, let's give it to the old guy, or older guy. I'm a little older than him, Doug Wade. I'm going to go with Streit. Stick with my buddy Kinger here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> tough guy. Over there. Yeah, I'm real tough. Yeah. All right, let's go to number two. Very interesting question. Are the Islanders veterans more valuable as mentors to the young players or as trade commodities? Well, I think it's going to be a two-part answer for me, Steve. I think right now they're more valuable as mentors. Certainly, when you have so many young players in the Islander lineup, they need that veteran leadership, veteran experience around them. But as you get closer to the trade deadline, then I think you have to take a better look at where the Islanders are in the standings and do they need those players to be around or is it better to go out and get something? You have to remember, come March 4th, that's the trade deadline. Islanders have a bunch of guys who will be unrestricted free agents July 1st. You're talking about Bill Guerin, Doug Waite, Mike Sillinger, Mike Comrie, Andy Hilbert. Those are the guys who are going to draw a lot of interest on the free agent market, I would think, and a lot of teams that may have just the room to take a guy who might put him over the top for a playoff run, I think would be very interested in picking up one of those guys. Can I borrow your fence pole? Sure. Because that's where I'm going to sit as well, just like you did right there. Uh, it's a great question. It really is. It's a fair question, but it's an impossible question to answer right now. Because not only you need you need players, but you need healthy players, and and you know you can't get rid of your veteran players right now. The other thing is the Islanders have to concern themselves with the salary cap. It's not the ceiling; it's the floor. So right now they're valuable not only on the ice but on the books as well because you have to have money to keep it above the salary cap floor. Come March fourth, though, that will be a very interesting predicament or situation for Gar Snow. Uh, and the rest of the Islanders management. What do you do with a lot of these players? You, again, you can't get rid of everybody, but if they keep playing well, some of these guys, the more value you can get, you're going to have to trade them if the team continues to be in the position that they are. And again, Billy, they just have so many guys they risk getting nothing for July 1st when right. they walk away. Oh, no, no, they'll, they'll, make, they'll make some moves. Nice. Thanks for the fence. <laughs> and and number, number one is the holiday question. Guys, if you could get one gift. For the Islanders, what would it be? Well, Steve, Santa would bring a big sack of health for the New York Islanders. There's no doubt about it. I mean, you just look at how they've been decimated by injuries throughout the season. Over 200 man games lost before even the midpoint of the year. Scott Gordon has thrown it out there. He said, give me one team that's been without their number one goaltender all season long. They've been without six of their top seven defensemen due to injuries. Mike Sillinger, Mike Comrie have battled the hip thing. And have young players go down, like Josh Bailey, like Kyle Posa, like Franz Nielsen. Bring them the health they require. Health would be great, but nothing else matters. Bring it. Uh, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, good Kwanzaa. Bring them an arena, lighthouse, shine a light upon us right now. Please, with a huge bow on it, get the lighthouse done. We need a new arena here. If you get the new arena, everything else will follow. I'm sorry, Kevin Costner, I'm going to quote you. If you build it, they will come. I'm not just talking about fans. I'm talking about free agents. I'm talking about hope. Because that is what they need right now. They need this place to start getting rebuilt. If you put a bow on it, you make it fancy, it's a great Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, everything for every Whatever holiday I left out, it'll be great. It'll be perfect. Thanks, Santa. You're welcome. Ho, ho. Hey, on behalf of our entire crew, happy holidays, everybody. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your holiday shopping, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next time.